you, Copiphora Corgonensis, is a guided meditative experience for online audience. Across the five stages of this experience, we will use insect anatomy to enhance our own sense of presence and uncover how to listen closer, deeper and wider throughout space and evolutionary time. We will now begin stage one. Start in a seated position facing towards the screen. Let your eyes close as you start to relax. Focus on your breathing. Any immediate stresses begin to fall away. They are carried by your exhales into the ground. As you breathe, concentrate on your chest, opening and closing. Visualize the air entering and exiting your body. Lengthen your spine as you inhale growing tall. As you exhale, feel the tension in your shoulders fall away. Repeat this again. Inhale. And exhale. Take your hands and rest them at your sides, palms touching the ground. I want you to imagine that you have left the room you are in now. Take a moment to imagine you are outside. Beneath your hands is the cool, moist earth. Shooting up Between your fingers are soft blades of grass. Imagine a vast field. The grass extends far and wide in all directions around you.
take a breath in of the fresh air and lengthen your spine again. Exhale and release all tension into the ground. Once again, breathe in, lengthen spine and breathe out, release tension. Feel any stresses ripple through your lower back into the grass. Still with closed eyes, let yourself fall backwards into a laying position. Stretch your legs out in front, bringing your back to the floor. Your palms face the sky. Feel the points of connection between your back and the ground. Any tension seeps away into the grass. Floating above you in the sky is an insect. This insect is the size of your palm. It looks like a large grasshopper with a distinctively bright orange helmet-like head. Its pale green body is almost translucent with yellowish legs that arch from its body. Its eyes are like pearls, round, greyish-white, sunken into its skull. A set of small mandibles curl out in front of its mouth. A small horn protrudes from its forehead. This is the insect Copiphora gorgonensis. Despite 650 million years of evolutionary divergence, Copiphora, Gorgonensis and Homo sapien miraculously share the same three-part inner ear structure. As we slowly morph into Copiphora, Gorgonensis, we will attempt to listen deeper into our present moment within the vastness of space and evolutionary time. Feel the coolness of the grass. Let it bristle against your ears. Feel the warmth of the sun on your eyelids. Clouds drift slowly through the sky. One moves at a glacial pace to cover the sun. Draw 
attention to your hands. Imagine your fingers fusing together into sturdy, fleshy pads. They divide into three fleshy toes. Your wrists begin to thin away to the bone. They are covered only in a thin layer of skin. The muscles of your forearms begin to shrivel away as this thinning extends upwards to your elbow. The sensation travels further past your elbow into your bicep. into your upper arm and shoulder. Your arms are now oddly skeletal. Now, Bring your focus to your ankles and feet. Your feet become three fleshy toes, the same as your hands. They support an ankle thinned to the bone. This thinning extends up your calves. It reaches your knee and travels further through your upper leg, which also thins to the bone. Allow this sensation to reach your pelvis. Your legs are now equally skeletal. Now, move your concentration to your hips. Circling your hips is a thin ring of bone-like armour. It encircles the front of your groin, the sides of your hips, back around to the base of your spine. The armour is translucent and tinted an emerald green. The armour begins to creep upwards like a tube over your waist. It creeps upwards over your belly, spreading to the base of your ribcage. With each inhale, it extends towards your chest. It creeps up your back, up your spine, around your sides. It grows into your shoulder blades, higher and higher over the shoulders, 
into your armpits, into the base of your neck. As you notice your breathing, your armor delicately splits at your rib cage, stomach, and groin into three overlapping panels. Feel these expanding and contracting as you breathe. This armor covering your upper body is an exoskeleton. Two raised bones sprout from your knees. They grow like vines up the outside of your thighs, over your pelvis, up your sides, and into your ears. This bone has been made obsolete by evolution. It is called an acoustic trachea and its new use is to carry vibrations. In your mind's eye, leave your body and float just above Imagine looking down at your new form. Notice your colour against the grass. Your green, translucent body and your thin, yellowish limbs. Your human head remains intact sleeping. Take a mental snapshot of your appearance. We will save this image for later. Descend back into your body. Your partial hybrid form dissolves as you return to your original human form. Still, with closed eyes, return to a seated position. Stage 2 Bring your hands to your ears. Start to stroke the fleshy edges of your ears, focusing on the sound.
Find an area of your ear that sounds different to touch. Focus on the difference. Explore other areas of your ears. Make pleasing sounds. Now, slowly open your eyes and look into the screen.
Relax your fingers from your ears. Bring your attention back towards your body. With closed eyes, fall backwards once again into a laying position. Stage 3 This high sound exists within the hearing range of both Copifora gorgonensis and Homo sapien. Feel it seep into your inner ears. Sound reaches both of your ears at slightly different moments. Different parts of the sound get cancelled out. This phenomenon, known as phase cancellation, helps us perceive the location of a sound. White noise is comprised of many frequencies at once. Its detail makes it easy for our ears to locate. Return to a seated position. Listen into the sound. Take a deep Inhale and exhale and focus further into the sound. Imagine the white noise conceals other sounds. Upturn the sound like a stone, revealing other sounds beneath. Turn your head fully over one shoulder. Focus on the new location of the sound. Listen to the sound filtering differently into your ears. With great control, turn your head slowly to the other shoulder, listening closely as the filtering changes. Focus on this new location of the sound.
fix your head at other points on this horizontal plane, listening in to different filterings. Find pleasant nodes of sound. Return your head to center. Take a moment to listen deeper. Find these pleasant nodes again. Find more of them and leave some behind. Make a growing network of points and flutter between them. Start to move faster and slower. Slow movements are tense and focused. Move your head in new directions. Allow any tension in your neck muscles to govern your movement. Explore the extremes of your range. Make complex, organic, never repeating rhythms. Return to a rest position. With closed eyes, make your way onto your hands and knees. Bring your chin to your chest. As you inhale, curl your spine upwards. As you exhale, uncurl and lengthen your spine, lifting your head towards the screen. Repeat this process as you inhale again with curled spine. And exhale, lengthened spine. Feel free to perform this stretch 
if you feel any tension in your body. Remember the image of your body as Copifora gorgonensis. Your yellowish spindly limbs. Your green translucent exoskeleton split into panels. Reattach your acoustic trachea from your knees to your ears. The white noise is thinning out into the tones produced by the Copifora gorgonensis for mating. Excite the sound with your neck movement as you curl and uncurl your spine. Breathe deeper. Feel the vibrations of the sound on a cellular level. The sound reconfigures your biological framework. Your face starts to transform. Your cheeks glow a fluorescent orange. The glow spreads into your forehead, the back of your neck, into your scalp from all directions until your head is covered. Your cheeks begin to give way to large, translucent mandibles. Sound begins to reflect differently into your ears. A small horn begins to protrude from your forehead. This change in shape also affects the reflection of sound. Concentrate on the tips of these protrusions. Your eyes jut out from their sockets like domes. The whites overwhelm your pupils. They shrink to half their size. They are like pearls. Begin to steady your head. Move back into a seated position and exhale as you fall back into a laying position. Stage four. Leave your body and look back on your finished form, your fleshy toes, limbs, armoured torso, head, 
mandibles, horns and eyes. You are a perfect hybrid of Copiphora, Gorgonensis and Homo sapien. Allow your viewpoint to slowly drift upwards, 10 meters into the air. Sound becomes quieter. See the boundaries of the field. Imagine what is beyond them. You are a dot in the landscape. Keep travelling higher, you ascend to the height of clouds, feel the curvature of the earth, sense the ocean in your periphery. As I count up from one to ten, slowly ascend through the lower atmosphere into the upper atmosphere and into space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You float in a void. The planet is below you. As it slowly turns in the darkness, day sets into night. The planet freezes in place as time stands still. Allow it to reverse directions, moving backwards in time. Let this process speed up the planet turning faster and faster, speeding up and up, becoming a blur of blue and green 
spinning incomprehensibly, traveling back millions of years. Ten million years. Twenty million. Fifty million. One hundred million. Two hundred million. Four hundred million. Six hundred million. The planet gradually loses speed, slows down, becomes static. The blur subsides. A super ocean fills the planet. At the planet south is a supercontinent. There are no other land masses. Clouds are rare. On this planet, some 650 million years ago, the evolutionary pathways of Copiphora, Gorkinensis, and Homo sapien diverged. As gravity takes hold, you drift back into the uppermost layer of atmosphere. You begin to plummet through the upper atmosphere, past nascent gaseous formations through the ozone layer, into the blue of the sky, into a rare cloud. As you emerge from the other side, only the ocean is below you. Your body is nowhere to be seen. You dive into the prehistoric seas. The water is warm, enveloping, empty, clear. Drifting some 50 meters below is your body. It is a different body to the one you left behind. You have devolved 650 million years into a worm-like creature. Something tiny, transparent, silky, cloth-like. You glide in the undercurrent. You have no ears. You have no sensory receptors at all. You have one simple digestive tract from mouth to anus. That is all you have. The sun glints on the ocean surface. The sun begins to set suddenly rising again as we begin to travel forwards in time. The world
world moves into a time lapse, the tectonic plates shift, oceans oxygenate, the sun hums. Imagine your form growing, evolving, mutating, flopping onto land, writhing, calcifying, coming back towards your human form. Stage five. Begin to anchor yourself back into the present moment. As we begin to exit this experience, bring into your perception the floor beneath you. Imagine the four walls that surround you. Picture what fills them. As you return to your human body, coming back to the real world, begin to move your fingers and toes. Allow yourself to slowly awaken from this experience. There is a final written note on the screen in front of you. Thank you for taking part in you, Copifora Gorgonensis.